You've heard about journaling for mental health, but if you're like me, grabbing a sheet of paper and a pen and just writing for 20 minutes is absolutely daunting. I'm here to show you another way on this episode of The Dr. K Show. I'm Dr. Karthik Ramanan. I help ambitious individuals end self-criticism with tools and strategies to create optimal everyday mental health. If you're new here and you know you need to get out of your own way to execute on your passions, well, I am here for you. I encourage you to subscribe right now. Each week on The Dr. K Show, I answer your burning questions. The second segment is Progress Success, where I share a win from K Nation, people just like you. And in the final segment, I bring the heat. If you need a little kickstart, a little motivation, we'll stick around until the end. I drop some wisdom raw and real. Journaling has a tremendous number of documented benefits. The act of writing occupies your left brain, which is your more analytical side, and that allows you to better commit to memory what you're writing and frees up your right brain, that's your more creative side, to create, feel, and be more intuitive. So journaling helps reduce stress, better understand yourself, solve problems more effectively, and generally clarify your feelings. It goes even further than that. Research by psychologist James Penny Barker, PhD of the University of Texas at Austin, has has even shown that writing and emotional expression may lead to the boost of circulating lymphocyte levels, which basically means improved immune function. Journaling is amazing. Furthermore, if you just find that your mornings get away from you and that affects your entire day, well, then you must reclaim your mornings to create unbreakable everyday mental health. Here's the problem. If you're like me, you want a little more structure, something that doesn't take too long, something, dare I say, easy? I researched several journaling systems, but ultimately I came up with my own system for me. And once my clients caught wind of it, they wanted it too. So I decided I'll, I'll just make it available for everybody. Step one, go to drkjournal.com and download your free copy. Just pause the video. I'll wait for you. All right, you back? Got it? Great. Now I'm going to show you how to use it. Step two, import it into your tablet that supports handwriting or print out a sheet for each day. You want to write in this journal by hand. We use different areas of our brain when we handwrite versus type and the things that we write are committed to memory at a greater rate. And we believe our own handwriting more than generic type text. Step three, the night before, write down your main tasks for the day. Use the section, my tasks for today slash notes to make a list of your most important tasks that relate to your goals. Step four, leave your phone outside the bedroom at night. This is so important and has really drastically changed my own life. Start your morning with meditation or prayer and then use the journal before looking at your phone. Don't allow the phone to get into your head the first thing in the morning. This is critically important, especially in the beginning when you're developing the procedural memory and the habit of journaling and setting your mind right for the day. If you're not good at meditation, don't worry. Quite honestly, I'm not that good at it either. It's really just an attempt to breathe deeply and clear our mind, especially first thing in the morning. That makes all the difference. Step five, write down your three month goals, your one year goals and the tasks for the day in column one. Write your goals in the past tense. You're training your mind that you've already achieved your goals and that time has yet to catch up with you. Your three month goals should be achievable. Your one year goal should be aspirational. You will make them happen. Step six, write out your thoughts in column two. Write them in the past tense like you've already done them. Are you getting value out of this? If so, hit that like button right now. Be very specific with what you're grateful for. The more specific you are, the more we believe ourselves on a subconscious level. Generic gratitude really does not get us very far. Pick one main task to complete this day that will allow yourself to feel proud. And where it says, I took this action because, write out why that task means something to you. The more meaningful it is, the more we reinforce the new behavior in the patterns that we're creating. If your day went off course, this is a critical item. I can't tell you how many times that planning my day reclaiming activity has actually saved me. Something that involves moving your body or energizing your soul is really preferable here. The small action to create momentum. If all else fails, this is the one to help you see that you're actually improving just a little bit every day. This is the progress principle. If we're making progress, no matter how small, in due time, we will succeed. It's all about the small steps to create massive results. My one small action has been as simple as do one push up when I was getting myself back into exercising regularly. That's all it takes to build great momentum over time. Step seven, schedule. If you don't use a digital calendar, this is a great place to map out how you intend to spend your time. 
Step eight, everyday mental health habit tracking, sleep, water intake, nutrition, fitness. These are all self-explanatory. Nobody's going to see this but you. So be honest with yourself and write down how you did. It doesn't have to look pretty. Look, I rarely hit all four in an ideal manner in a single day. It's okay. When we write it down, we can look back and see how far we've come and if we need to make any adjustments. Step nine, the day review. Fill this out at night before going to bed. We can always improve and that's what that section's for. Also, the magic of this whole thing, write down one thing that you did today that made you proud. You'll be surprised how quickly you start to feel better about yourself. And there you have it, how to journal for mental health, Dr. K style. Question of the day, what is one thing that you can do today to make yourself feel proud? Let me know in the comments below. Today's progress success is brought to you by one of my clients. She had this mental block against organizing and clearing her kitchen and it was causing her undue stress. She and her husband moved into this house a few months ago and the longer the time went, the less that she felt like setting up the kitchen the way she wanted. It was functional, but that was about it. When we started working together to optimize her everyday mental health, we started taking up one habit at a time with her physical fitness, then drinking water, then walking her dogs more consistently. And then one day she mopped the floors, cleaned the sink, and then couldn't stop herself as she spent the next couple of hours fixing up her kitchen just the way she wanted. What was once daunting was now done, all because of creating a little bit of momentum. When you're in the depths of depression or the vice grip of anxiety, the last thing that you wanna do is take a different action. In my own bouts with depression, I remember vividly just how badly I wanted to retreat and be safe. So the idea of taking on a new habit like journaling was the furthest thing from my mind, no matter what anybody said. I'm here to say this though, whether it's journaling or moving your body or eating nutrient dense plant foods or any other activity that will improve your state of mental health, the first step is simply feeling safe enough to take that first step. I know there's a part of you deep down that knows that what you're struggling with right now, it doesn't have to be this way. Imagine for a moment that you're 92 years old and you overcame the present day challenge and evolved into the person that you've always wanted to be. You lived a meaningful life with great relationships, working on things that you cared about. And as you're here at 92, you look back on that moment when you decided to take a chance and stepped out into the unknown and dared to put pen to paper and start journaling. All the greatest years of your life resulted from that one small decision. Can you take this one action of journaling? Now is your time, my friend. You can do this. You can live the life that you have always wanted. It starts with living your morning on your terms each day. I believe in your greatness and then couldn't stop herself as she spent the next cup. <laughs> what happened here? No, 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 no. Bring in so much heat, I gotta drink half a gallon of water. Step six, write out your columns. <laughs> write out your columns. Oh.